It seems odd that it's kind of, all these stones are kind of in the shape of a Viking ship. That's when you grab your pickaxe. And you get to work. You just start digging up this whole area. Ooh, skeletal remains. Get those bone fragments. The chest could be anywhere. The loot could be anywhere. The shinies could be anywhere. We have to keep digging. Aha, Eureka. We have found the buried chest. Oh, ha, 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 ha. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Valheim. This game's addicting. Just hanging out on the beach. Looking at the fishy fishies. Fishy fishies. Man, I wish I could catch me one of them fishy fishies. But you can. Haha. <laughs> So, bust this out, we'll bust a move, and then go into your inventory. And in your inventory, grab your fishing rod. Where can you get a fishing rod, Diesel? How'd you get that? Well, let me show you. I went a little exploring. I was like, I wanted to try and find a swamp. We found a swamp. All the way to the bitty bottom. But then there's more swamp. It's down here, so we have to build a boat. And uh, I can build a boat. I'm ready to build a boat, but I need some more people to come on the servers. But... When I was traveling down here, kind of just checking things out, going along the coastline, getting some tin, all those fun things that you get along the water, and all of a sudden, this marker came up willy-nilly on my map. Just popped up, and there is the troll merchant. He's fancy. He's got, a, he's got a list of wares, and one of those wares is a fishing rod and bait. The fishing rod will cost you 350 gold coins, so that's where you go to spend all those gold coins on. Oh, nice. Also, your bait will give you 50, and that will cost you 10 gold coins, 10 gold coins, or 30, something like that. It's pretty cheap. But once you select this, it's just like your bow and arrow. So once you pop out your, your rod, whip out your rod, you know what I'm saying? Then select the bait, and then it acts kind of like your bow and arrow, where whenever you shoot your bow and arrow, as long as you have those specific arrows selected. So say if I want to go to the bow and arrow and I want to you select this, we can select these or the fire arrows. Same thing with our fishing rod. Select this. Oh yeah. Now, just like your bow and arrow, you launch and rock and roll it out. It can go up to 24 meters. Oh, oh, we hooked it. As you can see, we're roping in the fish. It's taking our stamina and flamina away. And once our stamina goes, we lose the catch. It's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. So what we have to do here first is I'm going to eat some foods, some delicious meats and cheeses, the finest meats and cheeses of all the land. I'm going to boost our stamina up here a little bit. And then let's see if we can catch ourselves a big one, a whopper. The stamina's rocked all the way up. It's kind of a bummer, but I get it at the same time. So we cast that line out, and when you look at the lure, it has a little bit of a like a, a force field that goes around it. Once it's being tugged on by the fishy fishy, you got to rope it in. You got to hit the right mouse button and start reeling it in. Come on, twelve, hurry up, fishy fishy. He's a strong one. He's a brute, but we don't have enough stamina. Ugh. it's a drag. So let's just cast it out a little bit. Because you get the same kind of fish. It ain't no big thing. So you watch. Let's do a little bit closer here. It's going to... Oh, boom. You can see that little force field, that little bubble that pops up. And then you hit the right mouse button and then just hold it in. It'll reel it in. And boom. We got ourselves a fishy fishy. Fishy fishy. Boom. Ha ha ha. And depending on the size, it'll give you one or two. It'll already cut it up for you. Nifty. Now, the problem is that every single time the line casts out, it uses a piece of bait. So you just bait the rod one time, and it's good to go. Get yourselves another one. A little 16 meter jam. I can dig it. I can dig it. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Gotcha. Haha. -ha. We're reeling it. We're reeling it. We're power packing. We're rock and rolling. Feeling good about it. But we do need some more gold. So I guess it's high time we can hop into a dungeon. Hold on, I need to get this fish. Oh yeah, <laughs> fantastic. All right, so now I'm gonna hop into a dungeon because we need to get ourselves some sweet cheddar. Let's go check out the merchant, get some more hot goods, and then I'm gonna show you some treasure. What? Yeah, treasure. <laughs> 
This game's got it all, bros. Oh yeah. The crib's coming together. We've got a bonfire rocking for the entire world to see. Keep all keeps all the bugs away. Um, let's go ahead and let's let's, let's cook some fishy fishies. I got way too many non-meat items. I want meat. There we go. Let's get after this raw fish. Oh yeah. Ha ha ha. Cooked fish, new item. So fancy. Oh yeah, so we can make sausages. So entrails and raw meat and thistles. Down in the swamp, they got some ghouls, they got some ghosts, they got all sorts of phantoms and disgusting things that you never ever want to touch. When you kill things down there, they drop things called entrails. Hold on, hold on, I'm a good cook, I got a good cook, can't, can't burn the fish, can't burn the fish. So hold on, I believe I have put some entrails, make some sausage. Oh, and for those of you who are kind of bummed out about the cooking fires, the campfires here, how they go out every single time it rains. You can make a chimney for it. You gotta kind of finagle it. So what I have done for the cooking stations is this is just pumping out all that smoke, that fine, fine smoke. What you should do to make a chimney. Oh, 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 oh. Fantastic. Is however wide or however big your fire is, just make a little chimney on top of it. Put a little, a couple stilts and then put some roofs over top of it. Boom, boom. Boom, one, you got the smoke funneling out and as an actual chimney, and the rain won't put out your campfires, and you're welcome for that. Um, let's go ahead and get these entrails. I want to see what this is all about, because, like, it seems gross, but yet delicious all at the same time. Thistles. I know I got some thistles in here. Oh, we got thistles. And let's get some meats. Like Arby's and crap, we have the meats. Sausages times four. <laughs> Delicious. Get that raw meat, raw meat. I'm gonna keep the fishies here. Cause you never know. You never know when I can use a couple fishies. And let's eat that meat. Eat that meat. Boop, boop. Oh, fantastic. What do you say they're buddy? Oh, what's the matter now? Oh, now you can't hit me so good. Oh, it's cause I know you're down here now. I don't know what this is. But it's dead now. <laughs> Alright. Scanner stand him in the back. What is this? Amber. Nice. It's the color of our energy. So many things I need in here. Oh, gold coins. So many things. Coins. Totally used because... Ooh, amber pearls. I have no idea what those do. These cores are necessary for most forging. If you want to start a forge, cores are what you're going to need. You're going to need to go into a dungeon. You're going to need to start doing some stuff in order for you... Ooh, berries. Is there anything else in here? Any, like, spawners of some sort? Yep. No more skellies in here. <laughs> Get wrecked. Fantastic. Take these, these amber pearls. More amber. Rubies. Nice. I don't know what you spend these on, but <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, let's just toss that. I don't need that. You. More gold coins. More feathers for arrows. Yes. Hey, what's going on? I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded all si by all four sides. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Wrong. Eh, eh. Later, hater. That's right. That's what I'm talking about, right? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some energy. Get some sausage. More rubies, amber. Arrows. So good. More rubies. More gold. We need these things for the merchant. Ooh, oh. I blocked that. You know I blocked that. Anything in here? Any spawners in here? Does not seem to be the case. Good, good. Take those shrooms. You don't want to get high? Hell, oh, you're the worst character ever. Oh, no. And that seems to be it. So it looks like we got a bunch of gold. 78 gold. Nothing too crazy. Four amber pearls. I have no idea what those go to. We got a skeleton trophy, which I will hang by my throne. Eventually. 
Okay. We're in, we're out. Nothing there. Dead end here. All right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. All right, home sweet home. Time to put away our loot, and then I'll go check out the merchant. See what he's got. Let's just dump some of the stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Gold, amber, 20 rubies, skeleton trophy, amber pearls. That's what's up. Sounds like a porn star. Amber pearls. All right, let's go over this way. Now, I know we don't, I'm not going to take any gold with me. So let's go scope it out. This left side, we decided to make a portal room. <laughs> it's fancy. I feel like I'm about to... I feel like I should play some like 8-bit Dr. Hugh, Dr. Hugh music. Dr. Hugh. Not Hugh, who? Who? And we set up a portal right near this lovely merchant. So we're all the way down here now. We were here. And now we're here. Why, hello there. He, this dude is actually stuck. He's supposed to be a little bit taller than that, but he's stuck in the ground. I tried to ask him, like, hey, do you need help? And he's like, no. That's Halstein. What's going on, Halstein? All right, what you got on my drink, Craig? Odor. Haldor. So we have a Yule hat, a red cap in the style of house gnomes, a.k.a. Santa hat. And we have a, a Der Verger circlet, a portable perpetual light source for the dungeon explorer. This is 620 gold. I don't know what kind of, okay, so it's got armor. What's our armor for our headpiece here? Six. So it's a little less, little less than this, but if you go into a dungeon and you put that circlet on, boom, you got yourself some light, which you uh, gravely need. Gives the wearer superhuman strength. This was 960 gold pieces. Ymir flesh, near the remains of the giant Ymir. I guess, I'm not sure what that is. I feel like that could be something for a boss. And then there's the fishing rod. And the fishing bait, the fishing bait is only 10 gold, which is totally doable. But he's got himself a nice little spot here. I'll tell you what, the seed that we have rocking is pretty nice, but I, I, I shouldn't I shouldn't talk too much. It's pretty good for starting out. But next, we have to build a ship. I'm terrified. On the throne sits the king. The king. Of Dieselton. All right. So as you can see, I moved a couple little uh, things over. Got some dragon sconces. Got to make the throne look nice. And of course, the head of our first enemy, our first boss. There shall be more. Now we just got to put some banners, all sorts of fun jazz. Got some beams rocking. Make it a little bit more elaborate. And my my my, my torches went out. I'm out of resin. That's never happened. Never happened in the history of this game. You're out of resin. You kill anything, it gives you resin. You chop down a tree, it gives you resin. It's like the one, the most abundant source in all of the land to grant fire. Let's make ourselves something good, you know? Let's get some jam. Queen, the queen's jam. The jam fit for the queen. Or the king. Haha. <laughs> Put you here. Put those berries back in. This jam jar right here, brother. That's gonna give you some good stuff. Classic tasty blend of raspberries and blueberries. Stamina 40, 30 health. Duration, 1200 seconds. Healing, it gives you healing. It'll help you heal. And of course, our tap. Boom. It's empty. So we have something here. Mead base, minor healing. Minor healing, and we have to let that ferment. Let it go through its sources, its cycle, you know? Gotta make it all delicious crap. But in the meantime... <laughs> Score! It gives me comfort. And minor healing mead. So for two minutes, it'll heal you up. Get that... those... There's a little HPs. Get all the HPs. Can I, can I sleep yet? I can't. I like how it raises up. Look at me! I've got a cup! I have a mug! Everybody, I'm running with a mug! Everybody! I'm the king! I'm running with a mug! Ah, I love the sunshine. So, 
I know what you're thinking, like, man, Diesel, this game is amazing. It's got pretty much everything, but you know what? I really love digging for buried treasure. I'm like a big Sea of Thieves fan, and I get it. I get it, bro. But do not fret, my pet, because there is treasure that you can find in the ground in Valheim. What? Yeah. So, right outside of our village, I did notice this. I was like, it seems odd that it's kind of all these stones are kind of in the shape of a Viking ship. That's when you grab your pickaxe. And you get to work. You just start digging up this whole area. Ooh, skeletal remains. Get those bone fragments. The chest could be anywhere. The loot could be anywhere. The shinies could be anywhere. We have to keep digging. Aha! Eureka. We have found the buried chest. Oh, ha, 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 ha. What you got? What you got? Just go ahead and just clear it all away. It's floating. It's made of magic. Boom. A silver necklace? Nice. We have an amber pearl. 28 gold coins. Now, uh, let me just see here. Something right quick. Crafting. And, uh, how much how much wood do I have? Three. You don't say. I want that chest. Eh. All right. Now we just gotta take this. I'm gonna put you right. I'm gonna I'm gonna place you right here, okay, buddy? Because all I want is just that chest, and then we take it down. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. But yeah, man, that's how you find treasure in Valheim. Come across one of these, these stone fragments, little stone hens right here. Boom! Start digging, bro. And you're gonna find yourself all types of things. Skeletal remains. Ooh, getting those levels, the running levels. But there's definitely. Could be possibly one chest, maybe even two. You get the idea. Pretty wild. And now I'm going to hoard all the gold in my vault. Ah, yes. Tis good to be the king. Fish, gold, merchants. Oh, yeah, by the way, the heads talk to you. So you were my death. You look so small and soft. Tell Odin he may have broken this form, but the wilderness will never submit to his rules. Shut up, head. I'm the king here. I... I'm the king here. But folks, that is going to be our episode for today. We went fishing, caught some fish, went treasure hunting, found some gold, some skeleton bones. And then we went to a dungeon. Murder, mayhem, rubies, silver necklaces. So much. So much going on. Uh, score! Ha ha! Fantastic. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some channel, ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all. And I'll check you out right here again in Valheim next time.